For two hours, she listened to her eight-year-old neighbor loudly selling bottled water in front of her apartment building. I just couldn't get any work done. Edel says when she asked her building security guard to intervene, nothing happened. So she came out to talk to Jordan Rogers' mother. I said, please, I'm, I'm trying to work. You're screaming, you're yelling and people have open windows, it's a hot day. Can you please keep it down? You know, do you have a right to be here? Edel says she questioned whether the girl needed a permit to sell water. Thank you. Then says she called police to ask them if indeed a permit was required. She says she never asked the police to respond. There was no point in having the police come. That wasn't, the, that wasn't it. I just wanted them to be quiet or move to a corner. They were being disruptive. She also said she never confronted Jordan directly. I only spoke to the woman. I never once spoke to the little girl. Jordan's mother says that's just not true. She says Edel asked her daughter directly if she had a permit to sell bottled water. She says she's convinced the question was racially motivated, which is why she says she started recording Edel's call to police. We've been out here before with my nieces who are full white and she didn't come out here and they were being way louder than Jordan was by herself. Edel says her complaint had absolutely nothing to do with race. There was never a racial issue, ever. First of all, I didn't even know who was the one doing the shouting. I couldn't see, all I could hear was the shouting. I had no idea who it was. How could it have been race related? She says the backlash from this video has been painful. I have gotten so much hate mail I am getting continuously text messages with all kinds of threats, horrible, horrible images and death threats. Allison Edel says she's not proud of how she handled the situation and if she had to do it over again, she would have gone for a walk instead of confronting her neighbor. Now, she also says it was Jordan's mother that told her to call police and ask about permits, which she did. Now we have reached out to San Francisco police to confirm that call and the nature of it, but have still not received a response. Marianne Favreau, NBC. I don't, I do not feel sorry for Allison Edel. Okay, Allison Edel, aka Permit Patty. Um, of course, like, uh, you know what, did this, that, uh, that news footage of her explaining her side of the, her side of the story, quote unquote, uh, just, uh, shows the backtracking and the, um, and the, um, uh, and the deceptive games that people like her play. Okay, the the uh the deceptive uh tactics that uh, pe people like her play the um the reflection and the denial and the victimization and the, uh the so-called victimization that they put upon themselves. Okay, Allison Edel knew the, knew what the hell she was doing. She was calling the police on an eight-year-old girl. Really, what what is an eight-year-old? The only uh the, an eight-year-old girl who was doing nothing but trying to sell water just so she could raise money to go to um. Disneyland, but up late, update, uh, she really didn't need to uh, sell that, she really didn't need to raise money, because, uh, after, after the, uh, after, uh, Allison Edel's exposure, uh, that, that little girl was able to, uh, somebody paid for her to get tickets to go to, uh, to, uh, Disneyland, but, like, um, but as far as Allison Edel goes, she says she received a death threats and, like, a hate mail, uh, as well as she should have, she, she deserves every last one of those, uh, death threats, she, she was, a uh, deserve every last one of those every last one of that hate mail because uh, I guarantee you like if they if that kid was white or fully white uh she she wouldn't uh <clears throat> she wouldn't have done that and like uh and I the that girl's that girl's mother I believe her 100% saying that like uh, she had uh two nieces that were fully white who who was selling uh water on that same spot and was a little bit louder and that they didn't come uh they uh and they were not confronted by permit patty uh, like, and then like, uh, she, they said like a uh, permit Patty, AKA Allison Ethel Ethel said that, um, she did not, um, call the police. She was just pretending to call police, which was another lie because like, uh, they, they actually have her, uh, like, I don't have the audio, but they actually have the audio of her calling the police. Uh, uh it, uh, it's recorded. What, 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 did she actually think that they wasn't going to, uh, release that, uh, release that to the public? And like, uh, she want to talk about that she needed a permit to to sell that water, but like she she worked at a cannabis uh at some cannabis firm uh selling uh, uh cannabis uh edible cannabis to um to dogs 
and other animals. But like she didn't have a permit to sell that. But like she wanted to have a. But she uh she asked that little girl if she had a permit. Yeah, it 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 had to do with race. It completely had to do with race. Okay, and, and you said she received a hate mail and she resigned. I, I think she, or she was fired from her cannabis firm. She deserved it. She deserved every bit of it. She deserved every damn bit of it. Fuck her. Fuck that bitch. Fuck permit Patty.